Sports Center is on television with Stan Verrett and John Butchergrass. Seems like they've thrown out the calendars in the Big East. It's March every night all around the league, but Monday, things get even more intense. The largest college basketball crowd in the history of the state of Pennsylvania saw one of the best college basketball games of the year. Number one, UConn. Number four, Villanova at the Wachovia Center, home of Philly's Sixers. Let's flashback. Last time Villanova beat a number one team was February of 1995 when they beat UConn, led by Kerry Kittles. First half in 2006. UConn up by one. Rashad Anderson having a great year shooting the ball. 43% from behind the three-point line. He's four for eight in this one, and with that three, he passes Ben Gordon. He is now the UConn record holder for most three-point field goals made. The six-foot-five-inch senior having a real good year. Now, first half, 27-27, Kyle Lowry. With the steal, he goes all the way, and Nova leads 29-27. But in the second half, UConn came out smoking. Check out the arc on Rudy Gay's jumper right here. Woo! Squish! Part of a 13-0 UConn run to start the second half. But here comes Villanova. Jim Calhoun said after the game, there's no one in the country that has guard play like this. Look at Alan Ray. Villanova shot only 41% in the game, but it, it seemed like 100% watching this game in the second half. Ray led them with 25. There he goes again. Nova down by two. They have a 12-2 run. Nova by three. Check out Mike Nardi. With that hoop, they take the lead and they never trailed after that. 15-2 run. UConn tries to come back. Look at Will Sheridan go around. Hilton Armstrong may have walked. He gets the hoop. 61-56 Villanova. Late second, Marcus Williams. Mid-range jumper is good. It's a three-point game. Williams in foul trouble and had six turnovers in this one. 18 and a half to go. What is Nardi thinking? He had the free two. Instead, he gets hacked. Well, just make the free throws and it's okay. You killed three seconds. 82% free throw shooter. Front end of a one and one. It's the back end of the rim. It's UConn's ball down by three. You know what they want to do. Have Anderson set the pick, roll, and hit the open three. It doesn't happen. He jumps too early, runs into Williams. There goes the turnover, and Villanova goes on to win. Jay Wright is mobbed by the fans, but he's corralled by Jay Billis. Does this team prove more than any other you've had that size really doesn't matter in this game? We got a lot of heart. Our guys are really tough. I give Connecticut a lot of credit. They just keep coming at you. They never quit. They're a great team. They're champions. And I'm proud of my guys to beat a team that's that good. You know, when your team looked like it was struggling there at the start of the second half, what did you tell them when you got the timeout? I just said we're not playing Villanova basketball. They're, they're playing like champions. They, they came out to start the second half like champions. We came out like it was a walk in the park. And you can't play that way in the Big East. How do you beat the number one team? Great outside shooting. Villanova made their season average of nine threes, seven of nine in the second half. They also forced 17 Connecticut turnovers, including six by Marcus Williams. They turned those turnovers into 23 points, while Villanova only had seven turnovers. And Will Sheridan played the best game of his career, double-double, first double-double of the season, and he did this while playing all 40 minutes. With more, here's the men who called the game for us. Well, a big Monday that lived up to the advanced billing tonight is number one Connecticut came to town to Philadelphia to play number four Villanova. The two teams exchanged punches in the first half. Villanova led by one. Then an amazing stretch at the beginning of the second half. Connecticut scored 13 unanswered points, opened up a 12-point lead. Looked like they might bury Villanova. All of a sudden, back come the Wildcats, a 17-2 run led by Alan Ray. And Alan Ray, the senior, was magnificent. In the first half, he went 3 for 9, 0 of 3 from 3. And in the second half, coming off those side pick and rolls, coming off screens, he went 5 for 7 from 3 in that second half. Mike Nardi hitting a big three as well in transition and the great read by Alan Ray. After scoring just six in the first half, Alan Ray came up with 25 points overall. He was truly outstanding. He was the leading scorer for each team. So much focus on the four-guard lineup, and three out of the four did what they usually do, or then some tonight. Randy Foy down, but Kyle Lowry and Ray filling the void. Nardi still sick with tonsillitis. The story of the night, though, was not the four guards. It was Will Sheridan, his best game of the year. Sensational. We know what the guards could do. They get in the lane and find people, but Sheridan, an uncanny knack of finding holes. They deliver the ball. His jump shooting, maybe they should go to him more. What's wrong with Jay Wright? He was sensational in a strong finish too. How about this one? Send it in, big fella. Give him a chance, Jay.
Fifth win all time for Villanova over a top-ranked team. Not the most memorable one, although this one was certainly a thriller. Roly Massimino here tonight. Of course, he led Villanova to that upset win in the national championship game over Georgetown. Villanova improves to 5-14 and 14 all time against the top ranked team in the land. Their last win against the number one team came 11 years ago, also against UConn. They also beat number one Syracuse in 1990, of course, the 85 title game against Georgetown. Their first ever win over a number one came 23 years ago to the day against Michael Jordan's Tar Heels.